Uh, we're heading into the Montgomery History Conference to uh, donate my uh, agbata that I wore for inauguration. Mr. William Opeyemi Jawando. So it's a pretty exciting morning. Uh, about a week after the election, I went to the council office building for some orientation. You may have come into contact with some of the security guards that work there, um, many of whom are immigrants themselves, several of whom are West African immigrants. Uh, on this day, there were two gentlemen that were there, both from West Africa, one from Nigeria, one from Cameroon. When I explained to him uh, my name and that I was a second-generation Nigerian uh, elected to the council, he asked me, what will you wear to your inauguration? The other one immediately said, you will wear traditional clothing. <laughs> He said it not as a question, um, but as a statement, almost as if it was a foregone conclusion and that there was no other option. Um, and immediately, and Cecily, my chief of staff who's here, was with me, I said to her, I have to wear an Agbada. I knew in that moment, almost as if my father was standing next to me, that I had to honor him and honor the heritage. It felt almost divine that the generations of my ancestors and his ancestors were with me in that moment. When we all come from different cultures, it's really important that we respect and welcome differences. Even when those differences come in ways we don't anticipate or even understand. So by wearing this agbada, this traditional West African clothing in a public setting to take the public oath of office is part of a bigger and public dialogue that I think is needed if we are to understand and respect our differences and move forward.